So filming yourself driving can be tricky, especially if you don't have anybody to help you. Oh, and also for safety reasons, you need to have your eyes on the road and your hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, that's right, Bennett. So how can you capture great looking shots while driving? Well, what if I told you that you can get shots like this easily with your iPhone and a couple of accessories? These driving shots can be a great addition for your car commercial, B-roll, short film, a travel vlog, and many other things making your videos stand out. So buckle up and get ready to learn how to film yourself driving with an iPhone. Let's dive into the equipment. And by the way, I will link all products mentioned in the video description below. So as my primary camera, I'll be using my trusty iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'll also be using a cage from Smallrig, which allows me to add and stack a mist, CPL, and VND filter on top. And by using the free Blackmagic camera app, I can set my shutter speed, double the frame rate to achieve a natural motion blur and compensate for the exposure with the VND filter. And the CPL filter filter will help reduce the reflections. Now I will also add a mist filter which will add a nice glow to the highlights and provide a softer look. And as for the mounting, there are a couple of options. I have a MagSafe mount inside of the car where I can quickly attach my iPhone and use the selfie camera to film myself. However, you are limited with the selfie camera, plus you don't have as much flexibility with the camera position. But hey, if you need a quick setup, this is a solid to choice. Now, another way to capture interior shots is by using a tripod, but make sure to set it up safely while you're on the go. I'll show you how I did it in just a bit. If you only have a tripod and need some car shots, this could be an option. Now, for me, the safest choice for interior as well as exterior car shots is using this triple suction camera mount by Gecko. And I chose this one mainly for the extra stability and security provided by the three suctions, especially for exterior shots. This way I can relax and don't have to worry about my iPhone falling off the car. And it also does a great job at creating vibration-free shots. And what's really cool is that I can make two parts out of this, as you can see. And then I can choose between the one or two suction setup, depending on my shot. And they actually sell both of these uh, version if you want to save on money. Now, from what I've seen and read, it has been tested on a vehicle's exteriors at speeds going up to 150 miles per hour and is compatible with mirrorless cameras up to 5.4 kilos. And this triple mount offers six adjustment points, allowing you to angle and position it in numerous ways to suit any shooting situation. And also these three ball joints enable you to rotate it 360 degree, giving you the flexibility to set up your shots just the way you want. If you have limited space, you can also just use one suction for mounting inside, which works well too. Now this one is priced at $140, but if you do a lot of car shoots or aim for those unique shots and want that extra assurance, I believe this is worth the investment. So let me show you how I would set up a tripod to shoot interior shots. And this is one way. And the way I've set up this tripod to film myself driving while still having a fairly secure setup is to set up the tripod on the passenger seat. And I've extended the two tripod legs as wide as possible, angled the third leg so up on the seat so that the neck of the tripod rests against the glove box. This way it secures the tripod well, minimizing the risk of it falling. All right, it's pretty steady, I must say. This is actually not a bad setup. You know, if you just have a tripod and want to capture interior shots of yourself driving while talking to the camera, this is absolutely not a bad solution. Now, if you have the budget, go for the suction mount. It's super versatile, makes your life way easier and allows you to get amazing and unique car shots. Let me show you how I set up the suction mount for a safe and secure car shoot. Now, the mount on top has a one quarter 20, so I can easily mount my iPhone using the cage. And when shooting exterior, I also use all three suctions for that extra stability and uh, camera security. And when shooting indoor, two suctions work nicely. You could even get away with just using one. It holds pretty strong. And if it falls, it wouldn't be a disaster and would just land on the car seat. Anyway, for exterior shots, I first loosen all the joints so that I can properly position the camera and frame the shot. And before I place it, I make sure to clean the surface to remove any dust or dirt. And this will ensure the suction has a firm grip. And then I simply
simply place it, I press on these three uh, buttons here to remove the air beneath the suction cup and then lift the latches up to remove the air beneath the suction to create a firm tight air seal. Adjust the framing and then tighten all of these joints here and I'm ready to go. And honestly, it's very strong. And if I want to remove it, I can simply pull down these latches and with my fingers, I can easily lift up each suction to remove it. It's really a quick process, which makes filming on the go with this one really easy. All right, let's get up here. Oh God. Okay, so let's look at the camera settings. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be using the free Blackmagic camera app. I like to shoot my videos in ProRes 422 Apple Log, which gives me the highest quality and I can color grade my footage to my liking. Now the colors used are from my premium mobile LUTs, which you can check out to instantly apply to your mobile videos to give it that cinematic look. An Apple Log conversion LUT is also included in the pack. If you're interested, you can check out the link below. Now, as for the camera settings, I like to shoot in 4K, 20 five frames per second with a shutter speed of one over 50 of a second. I make sure to adjust the VND so that none of the highlights are clipping. I also make sure to adjust the CPL filter correctly to eliminate any of those reflection. And what's great about the cage by Small Rig is that it comes with a handle and a Bluetooth shutter that allows me to start and stop recording from a distance without having to touch the screen on my iPhone. I then do a test shot to see how it looks. And if I'm happy with the framing, I hit the record button and start cruising around. So now that you're familiar with the gear, how to set up the suction and the camera settings, let me give you some creative ideas on where to place your camera using the suction cup to get unique car shots. Okay, now I need to get off this. Help! Now I think this setup is unique. Definitely engages the viewer and you can see me clearly through the CPL filter. I'm not too concerned about the iPhone falling off. Yeah, that is the shot you get setting it up from the hood. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this setup. So we have another angle. This time I've set it up closer and this is great. You wanna make sure to have different type of shots and angles. This way you can cut between them. Woo, nice. So this is probably one of my favorite shots because you can combine two shots like this top down. And then later when I close the trunk, it shows how I get in. And then you have a shot of me from behind. Now you might even see me through the mirror. So we'll make it look even more interesting now, I'm probably very dark because I've exposed for the outside, but I think it looks really nice. Yeah, so I think this is also a pretty cool shot. That's a lot of dynamic. And you don't only want to capture shots of yourself, but also, you know, of the view, the road. As many shots as you can get, this will add a lot of dynamic to your videos too. Okay, so this time I'm gonna film myself steering the wheel. And let's see how the shot looks like. And we can definitely use this, you know, to cut between the other shots. Works really great. Let me see if I put the window down and take my hands out maybe that will look nice So right now I'm using the MagSafe mount that I have inside my car and uh, I'm using the selfie camera. And what's great about this setup is that I can, you know, whenever I need to drive to some place and I don't want to worry about the setup, I can just get in, hook it onto the MagSafe and start recording. Now the problem with this setup is that I'm super dark and the reason for that is because I want to expose for the sky and I don't want my window here to be blown out. And the solution to brighten myself a bit more is to use an external light and I have one mounted onto this suction and when I turn it on, you'll see we get some light 
and it just looks way better for quick talking head videos. I think it's super cool and I'm using the DJI mic and the audio is also pretty good. So yeah, let me guys know what you think. All right, folks, so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. As I said, with the right tools and techniques, anyone can create quality content on the go that looks professional and engaging. And if you want to learn more, be sure to check out my online course, smartphonefilmmaking.com, where I teach you everything I know on how to transform your mobile videos into masterpieces. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.